Hi, I'm Rebecca Coleman for The Art of the Business, and today I'm going to show you how to make sure that you always have content on your Twitter feed. Um, I do this in a variety of different ways, but the method that I'm going to show you today uh, allows you to do a thing where you are bulk uploading tweets for an entire month. So you're literally creating an entire month's worth of tweets at one go and uploading it into your Twitter account and then kind of letting it run. Um, there are a couple of different tools that I use to do this. Uh, the first is Hootsuite. This is the one that you're looking at right now. The second one is called Agora Pulse, and it also has a bulk publishing feature as well. The third tool that you need for this um, uh, exercise, so to speak, is Microsoft Excel. I'll attach the um, templates for both Agora Pulse and for Hootsuite to this blog post uh, so you'll be able to download the templates yourself but basically you create a template in Microsoft Excel and in the first this one is specifically for Hootsuite in the first one you have the date and the time that you want your tweet to be published then you have the body of the tweet and then in the third column you have the URL to the tweet and it's really that simple so what I do is I create um, tweets both for my uh, I have two different blogs I have this blog which is a social media marketing blog and I have a second blog which is a food blog so what I do is I just create tweets uh, for both of my blogs and then I have one tweet each day that goes to my social media marketing blog and I have one tweet that goes to my food blog every single day so you'll see one gets published at 1315 which is 1 15 p.m. and the other gets published at uh, 745 and uh, every single day I have at least one tweet uh, this one goes to my food blog and at least one tweet that goes to my social media marketing blog that way I know for sure that every single day I'm putting out tweets that are leading people back to my blog and therefore driving traffic back to my blogs now what I do so that I don't have the same content on there every single month is I have different months worth of contents so basically what they are is they're just different months worth of contents um, I mix them up every month just to make them a little bit different. So, for example, you know, I can kind of cycle through each of these months. So I've got month one, I've got this one is specifically for December, month two, month three, month four, month five. So I have all these different tweets, they're all mixed up um, so that it, I don't have the same content every single month on my blog. Now, this month, let's choose this one, month three. Now there's one more sort of feature in here that you maybe want to think about, and that is thinking about holidays or um, any interesting days where you may be able to link in your content. So for this, I'm going to go over to a website called Hopper HQ. And this is an interesting site. Um, it is an Instagram scheduler. I don't actually use this tool, but they have a really great blog. And I'll just show you that. On their blog, one of the things that they do is every month they publish a list of interesting dates. So um, I don't believe that the March one is out yet. So here's the one for February. I'm creating tweets for March right now, so this isn't going to be much use to me right now. But if we were creating tweets for February, what you can do is you can come here and it tells you the trending hashtags and hot topics for February. So World Nutella Day, for example, is on the 5th of February. So what I would then do is I would go to my blog, cookingbylaptop.com, and I would do a search for the word Nutella, and I would pull out any recipes on my blog that have Nutella in them. Okay, so I have several of them, let me tell you, because I freaking love Nutella. So I have lots and lots of recipes in here about Nutella. So then what I would do is I would take these particular recipes and I would include them in my spreadsheet for the date that um, this is. So on the 5th of February, what I would do is I would make sure that I would include some of these recipes on the 5th of February and schedule those up inside this and make sure that I have uh, some specific content on that day. 
And so I would just sort of repeat that process and go through. So National Periodic Table Day, okay, probably not going to celebrate that one. National Pizza Day, I probably have some content on my blog about pizza. In fact, I'm pretty sure I do. Pancake Day, 13th of February, Valentine's Day, of course, uh, National Random Acts of Kindness, Love Your Pet, um, National Margarita Day is the 22nd of February, so that's something that I could definitely do some stuff on. So I love this as a resource, um, and what I would do is I would generate that content uh, in my Excel spreadsheet. So now the next thing I'm going to do is now that I have my spreadsheet created, what I would then do is I now I'm going to put the dates in here. So you'll see I have some dates starting with the first of the month and going through. These ones are for 2015. I'm not sure why that is. I'm going to choose one that's um, from 2017, a much better choice. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this do, 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 all the way down. So what I'm doing right now is I'm creating tweets for March. So I'm going to copy this, jump over here, and then I'm going to just paste this in. So I have the dates in here now, but as you'll notice, these are from 2017, December of 2017. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a select and uh, I'm going to do a find and replace. So you're going to go to find and then you're going to select replace. This is all in Excel. First of all, I don't want 2017, so I'm going to find all the 2017s and replace it with 2018. I'm going to replace all. Okay, perfect. Done. Now. Um, this is 12 and we don't want 12 so I'm going to find all the 12s and replace with January, February, March 03. <laughs> I had to do the math on that one and I'm going to replace all of those. Now um, it will have found and replaced some that I didn't want it to so see here 0302, 0303, 0303. Um, so what I need to do is I need to go down to where it would normally be the 12th of the month. See right here, it's replaced 03. So on the 12th of the month, because I told it the 12th, it's replaced that with 03. So I just got to replace these two really quickly with 12s. And assuming I've done everything correctly, this now is ready to be uploaded into either Hootsuite or Agora Pulse. What I first have to do is I have to save it, however, as a CSV file, not as an Excel file, which is what it is right now. So I'm just going to save this so that I have it in case I need to come back to it and fix it up some more. Then I'm going to go save as and this time I'm going to choose the, to save it as a CSV file and I'm also just going to dump it onto my desktop just to make it easier for me to find it and I've now saved it and it's uh, I have many sheets on here and it's asking me which one I want to save so I'm obviously I'm going to save the active sheet the current one right now then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back over into Hootsuite and I'm going to choose the publisher option, which is a little thing that looks like um, a paper airplane. And um, in there, I'm going to choose bulk message upload. Um, it, it allows you to choose which um, social network you want to upload it to. I'm going to upload it to my personal Twitter account. I'm going to choose the file from my desktop. Here it is, tweet CSV. And assuming I've done everything correctly, when I hit submit, it's now going to schedule those 63 tweets. I haven't done everything correctly, so it's not going to work. I have to go back and fix uh, a couple of things in there uh, to make it work. But basically, that's as simple as it is. Then what happens is you'll see for the entire month of March, I'll have at least two tweets a day scheduled up and ready to go to my um, to my Twitter feed. So it's as simple as that to create a month's worth of content in advance. It really doesn't take a lot of time uh, as long as you have the content already created in advance. Uh, it's a really great way to make sure that you always have content on your uh, Twitter account and also that you're always driving traffic to your evergreen content on your blog.